apart from that then you register for your jam joint admission and matriculation for examination hey guys good afternoon it's monday afternoon and you know how monday used to be very busy for students not just students and for everybody so we have, we have several lectures i was out since 9 pm and i said okay let me we're done for today and i said okay let me use this opportunity to, to make my first video oh my god wow if you're new here don't forget to like subscribe and turn on my notification and um, today i'm going to talk about um the requirements you need to apply for radiography in federal university in nigeria so first of all i want to advise you before applying for any course you need to know deeply what you want to study like okay you need to sit and think what am i good at what inspire me what am i passionate at okay if i want to study this course i want to do it like i want to do it for real so need to know what you want to study then you make a research on that if you make a research on that you make your mind on okay i want to study this i want to study that you know there is difference between you're good at something you know when you when we're in secondary school there are a lot of situations where okay if we had if we had of someone studying science we say okay this person is good in biology maybe okay biology or is good in chemistry and science is not all about biology and chemistry even though it's the it's the starting point and there is this thing okay don't just uh, think what you're you're into for instance you you're good in biology and chemistry and you're poor in mathematics and you say okay i want to study computer science you know computer science when someone hear computer okay i can deal with computer because we are in this era and you hear science i'm good in biology and chemistry well computer science is not all about biology and chemistry let me tell you it's math oh yeah that's what i had because i'm not in computer science so you need to know what you're good at do your research then after that you will you should ask around it's very good when you are into some course when you're going you're sorry when you're going to set something for your future it's very good to ask some people around for guidance and help if you know someone that is studying that course you're interested in whether that person is your aunt uncle or that person is in your neighborhood you can go around go that go to that person ask him so 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 uh, you're studying this course please i need you to give me more insight what's this course all about what do you guys do in this course like i want to know because i want to start setting for my future this is not a secondary school thing that you just go maybe you're good and you're you're very brilliant okay they will, they will take you to science um science part or maybe you're not that good with books okay i'll go to art no this is not secondary school this is um this is future you understand so apart from that then you should try to uh know the course you will register for your all level you know uh, in my school i don't know for your school but in my school there's nothing like um career and this uh, guiding and counseling something that there's, there's nothing like that surprise motherfucker so if you're going to study maybe agri agriculture uh, agriculture then maybe you won't even register agriculture in your all level and you know uh, they won't accept you they won't clear you so you need to know what you should register in your all level so the basic courses that we need in that you need if you want to study radiography in nigerian university is the basics are five is biology chemistry um, physics english and mathematics so you need to have this these three subjects you need to have this i'm sorry these five subjects yeah you need to have these five subjects you need to pass it for you to declare and apart from that 
then you register for your jam joint admission and matriculation for examination because in nigeria in federal there is no way you can get admitted in any federal university without a jam number so and jam are only uh, uh you are only allowed to register four courses in in jam and the course that you are going to register for jam to get your jam score is four that's biology physics chemistry and english you will register this course and hopefully you know um there is this uh cut off cut off mark for any university for my own uh, university the cut off mark is 200 but it it differs it differs for any university you're going to study so you you should ask around okay i'm going to study this is this course so 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 course what what is their jam score or maybe you should browse to know so that you will read you will read ahead and read very well to to top up your jam score so after that then i think the only thing you do is okay for some university they will they used to write their post utme examination that's unified tertiary and matriculation examination in fact tertiary matriculation yeah i think that's it utme for c for cme then for us we just for my university you just go for your screening i think you will pay two thousand during my time it's two thousand i don't know for now you pay two thousand two thousand naira. apart from that then you read hard and pray yeah whether you're a muslim or you're a christian prayer is very good you pray for you to get a flying colors then i will give you a word of advice a word of advice if you're currently trying to apply for any course in nigeria if you're currently um a final year student in your secondary school and my advice is please try to be conversant with your computer we know that we are in the 21st century and almost everyone has computer with him uh, but the problem is if you don't have any computer if you don't have any computer then maybe you should ask around or if your friend has it you are going to write down and you know this this jam you are going to write you are going to write it with a computer and the problem is if you are not very good with it or if you are not um if you're not used to it you might go to the exam hall and just out of the blue become anxious and nervous maybe and that would take you much time where at the end of the day you will fail not because you don't know the thing but because maybe your time's uh, your time is up and you know if your time is up the computer automatically shut down yes so after that yes that's it be very conversant with your computer and after that i will i will say uh, you should be very punctual with time advisably you should go one hour before the examination time and if that's uh, like you have to put it as a reminder put it on on your calendar because i'll be telling you this out of experience like it happens with me i I miss my examination. I have to run. I have to start for jam the next year. Like I miss it. So if you miss that day, you miss it for real. Like they are not going to okay say they are not going to favor you. They are not going to favor you because you miss this exam. Uh, okay, you should come later or you should come tomorrow. And that's all for today's episode. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Susa Abdul. Thank you for joining me. See you next week. Oh, 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 oh,